this is Dr. Gay. And I want to show you a PARS fracture. This is a young patient who had back pain. Their x-rays of the spine looked good. They continued to have pain and decided to get a lumbar spine MRI. So this is a side view of the lumbar spine. We can see each one of these vertebral bodies all nicely spaced right on top of each other. There's no slippage. And these things in between that are bright are the discs. And each one of these discs looks absolutely normal. Now the spinal canal is back here. It's filled with fluid, which is really white. You can see each one of these nerves coming down here like spaghetti down through the spinal canal and exiting at each level. And at first glance, everything looks completely normal. But if you look really carefully in the back, right here there's an area called the pars intraarticularis. And the, they have pars fractures on the right and left hand side at this level at L4. So let me zoom this on up to see this a little bit better. If we go off towards the right hand side, we can see there should be a con continuity of bone coming off the back here off the pedicle and then going through this pars intraarticularis, but I don't see that. I see a little gap right here. So this is a pars defect. You can see how subtle these things can be. Over here we can follow this bone through the pedicle and down. This is normal. But over here we go across and that looks like there is a little gap right here. Now if we go to the opposite side, this one shows up a touch better, but here's the pedicle going across and it's supposed to shoot down here and there's a little white line here that looks like it may be the pars defect. But again, very subtle findings. This is another sequence where marrow looks a little bit different. And this is a pars defect on one side. Kind of foggy, hard to appreciate. There it is right here. This actually shows up much better. Right here is that pars fracture. And there's a little bit of bony separation. This is the bone. This is the bone. They should be touching each other. If we go off to the other side here, another little gap right here. So bilateral L5 pars defects and an otherwise normal lumbar spine.